you'll now see text extraction in action. I'll take a photo of the book cover. The section I'll be extracting is iOS test driven development by tutorial. And then I'll click on Keep Scan. Save. And as you can see, the text has been extracted from the book, iOS Test Driven Development by Tutorial. And we can also copy the text on the clipboard by clicking on copy the clipboard button. In this tutorial, we will implement the content view to enable the scan document view to be displayed so the user can extract information from their document or image. Within your content view, enter the following at state private var recognize text equals Press the start scanning button. At state private var show showing scanning view equals false. The purpose of showing scanning view. The boolean variable is to show and hide the scanning, the scan document view. Let's button height CG float equals 50. So that will enable the button heights of the two buttons to be the same heights. Just to make the UI a little bit neater. We can delete lines 18 to 21. On line 17, enter the following. Navigation view. Within the V stack, we need to add a scroll view. And then we need to add a Z stack. And the purpose of the scroll view is to enable the user to scroll their text because the user could scan any amount of text, like very large text. Rounded, rectangle, corner radius, and that should be corner radius, 20, style, continuous. Dot fill, white, color white. Dot shadow
radius 3 So what we're doing here, we're displaying a rounded rectangle with a shadow contained within the recognized text. And then we need to add our text element that includes our caption that we want to be displayed which is press the start scanning button dot padding we can delete the padding on line 35 this one here We also need a padding of the line 31. Spacer. And then we need to create a hate stack. And the hate stack will include the buttons. And it also includes 20 pixel spacing between each button, which is here. So now we add each button, button, action, that should be capital B for button. Cell dot showing scanning view equals true. Next thing we need to do is add a caption to our button, which is start scanning. Add a frame so that both of our buttons are the same size. Frame, max width, infinity. Mean height, button height, padding, foreground color, dot white, background, capsule. Dot fill, and it should be capsule. Color blue. So now we have our start scanning button. Oh, yeah, and we need another closing bracket at the end on line 46. This one here. So now we need to create our next button, which is the copy to the clipboard. Copy the, the contents of the text extraction to the clipboard. So I'll just copy and paste that button and paste it after anywhere after line 47.
And then for the caption of the next button, which is this one here. I'll call it copy to clipboard and then within the button action that should be self dot copy to clipboard but we need to create that method first so let's create the method first Anywhere after line 62, private function copy to clipboard UI paste board dot general dot string equals recognize text. The text that we have extracted will be copied to the clipboard so now we can call the copy to clipboard method and then on line 56 just change the color from blue to green for the background And we only want to enable the copy to clipboard button if there is something to be copied. So if the recognized text variable contains text, then enable that button so that the user can click on it. Tap button to start scanning. On line 16, we just need some more padding. And then on line 60, after line 62, we just style the background. Top grey. The opacity zero point one dot navigation bar title Document scanner and then the next thing we need to do is to display the action sheet is presented dollar sign show scanning view I mean showing scanning view so if that's true Then we will show the scan document view. And then pass the recognized text to the scan document view. Well, there should be a dollar sign there. Just compile it. Then 
The next thing we need to do is to add a key to our info penis to enable the camera to be displayed. So to do that, click on your project name. My project name is called Tet Recognition Tutorial. And then click on Info. And then add a key. To add a key, you hold down the control key and then left click on your mouse button and then click on add row. And the key we need to add is called privacy camera use this description. You can select it here from the list. And then within the string value, for the string value, just enter a little description. For example, this app needs to use the camera. We can enter anything, really, whatever you want. And then now I'll just compile it. To test the application, you have to test it on an actual physical device, such as an iPhone or iPad. You can't test it on the simulator. Thank you for joining us. If you found this tutorial helpful, Please comment, like and subscribe. See you next week.